Chill out, man. Record home. Chill out, man. Chill out, man. Chill out, man. man, I told you I, was, I had to hear what he had to say. That's what I told him. I didn't want to hear what he had to say. You had a thought? You mean tell me you he, really he, thought that man. you may? I you want, consider no, it? No, no, no. Yes. I just want to hear what he had to say. Man, nah, man. I told you. Man, you I just want to Man, yeah, look. I told you from the get-go. A consideration? <laughs> he, he going too far with it. He going too far. You just say you want to hear what he had to say <laughs> for entertainment purposes. Shit, were you, were you entertained? Very Are much so. Are you not so. entertained? <laughs> very much so entertained at this point. Are you not entertained? <laughs> I'm talking about very much yeah, so. Shit, I told man. you. Kanye ain't this you. motherfucking bag, ain't I it? told you from the get go, man. Fuck that shit, man. Nah. <laughs> that boy say, I don't. I think Kanye got his 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 uh his his his, his information mixed up. That mo- he say something about Herod ain't free to slaves. Ain't nobody never said she freed the slave. No, he said he. They, he said she ain't freed the slave. She freed the she slave and took him to go for work for white men. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck is wrong with y'all. I mean, okay, I'll play devil's advocate. Fuck it. I, I'll try. I'll try. All right. Here we go. Technically, they did have to go get a job, and the business was owned Bruh. by a white man. Bruh. Technically. Bruh. So Bruh. you saying he was right. Bruh. Nah, I ain't saying he right. I'm just trying Bruh. to play. I'm I, trying. I'm not even going to let you go. I'm not going to let you do that. <laughs> I'm gonna let you do that. Hell fucking no. Kanye done lost his goddamn just, mind. All he's right. supposed to be doing is making music. That's it. Fuck around. Right. No political, nothing. Make some clothes. No, what? no clothes neither. You don't think he need to make no clothes neither? No. no. What about the shoes? No. no. They, they ugly. They cost too much <laughs> bullshit, man. Come on, man. You didn't wear them shirts, all the holes in it, be hanging all down here and up here and stuff. Yeah. Man, that's some bullshit, man. I don't care what it, y'all say. Hey, I ain't never bought that. He done fooled y'all. He done, he done put the women on y'all, man. Put the wood <laughs> on y'all eyes, man. man. God damn, boy. I them mean, shoes comfortable, though. Huh? Them shoes comfortable. I don't give a damn about comfortable. They ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Kanye need to stick to making music, man. I man. ain't never thought about no Kanye. I never wanted none. None. Nah. They, they you see like, the shirts he be having? Were, do you see hey, the models? Do he, they really be selling them shirts? Yeah, like three fifty, seven hundred. You got what? one, don't you? Cause you a bad fan. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you no. got one. No, I ain't got that one of the motherfuckers, man. He I ain't got that one. Rally in his Kanye shirt. <laughs> <Huh? laughs> no, 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 Nah, but I just want I, I want I want to hear what he gonna talk about though. Not even on some know what I'm saying like I was gonna vote. For. Really? And I just want to hear what he. I don't want to hear what he got to say. He said a lot of stupid shit. Just like uh, just like your forty five do. Yeah. Him you know? and, your forty five said a lot of bullshit too, and Kanye said a bunch of bullshit. They that's why they they need to be friends. Man, I'm gonna say that office. I think Kanye is a plant from forty five himself. Think he popped a mole? He was a mole. Go in there and kind of fuck up the black vote a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I really, you know what I'm saying? I don't know Kanye. So you got some stupid people. I mean, I ain't going to call you stupid. But you Come got on. some people that <laughs> yeah. actually go vote for him. The guy Because the they want to hear what he had to say. <laughs> Looking at it. <laughs> people, will, yeah. people will naturally do that, though. They will. Yeah. Well, let me nah, try but to I be, can't. Even if they the, just doing it out of a altruistic, but you know, the, being nice and shit. But on the G, though, I can't see myself going in that, in that, in that, in that, what you call the voter booth thing and really scrolling around the Kanye and saying, okay, that's my vote. Okay, well, you know I'm I'm I can't, I'm like, it real, realistically, I'm you know what I'm saying, really going on the now. You don't clear it up on the out now. You ain't, you know, I ain't no, I ain't on Kanye, okay. All right, Kanye, that one last vote you got. You so know, you, no, that's two now. Hey, so Cap, you, that's three. T two, that's four. <laughs> <laughs> so you a voter? You believe yeah. in voting and all that? I'm gonna go vote. Fuck it, I voted right. in uh, Obama. That's what's up, man. Yeah. That's what's up, man. I'm gonna, go vote, to my I'm gonna go vote 45 out this motherfucker. He gotta get I'm, out of here. I'm he with you, man. Go, I'm he be got there. to go. I don't know who I'm voting for yet, but it won't be 45. We not living well, too. You running out of time though. But I be, I feel like man, they just gotta start talking though. You know what I'm saying? Like Biden ain't really saying too much of nothing. I vote for Biden just because. Just could, huh? Because he, he was under uh, under Obama. Yeah. Because I mean, if he was with Obama, I'm going to vote for him just to get Trump out of office. Yeah. That's yeah. that's how Trump got in office. But we're going to vote for Trump just because. Because look who it's not. Because yeah. they ain't want to vote for the woman. Right. right then. You know what I'm saying? Woman may have, uh, not, she, she may have her cycle. Nah, she don't have one no more. 
<laughs> but she have emotional problem. Women, yeah. women are just emotional by character, by their nature, regardless. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So she might be in her feelings today and and gotta go make a speech or something. And, I ain't making that speech. Blah, 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 whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause they're emotional. Women yeah. are emotional. They don't know how they emotions. So that's man, why a lot of not, men not after want a black vote. man. They wouldn't feel let us have a woman. No, no, right after right. no black man. No, no. Mm. Yeah, that too, that that turned America upside what? down on this motherfucker. A black head. man and then a woman for for sixteen years straight. Oh no, they, yeah. the, the the man couldn't handle that shit. Man, look here, I am hype south. I am DJ Nightcap. I am the world famous Lil Troy, OG. And this, this is Throwed in, in the Game. game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we sitting down with the OG legend, the living legend, Lil Troy, man. Uh, one of the most successful, well, probably the most successful song to ever break. One of them. It's one, one of them. One of them. I'm, I'm in the top one and a half. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a damn song <laughs> up there. I ain't going to say top two. I'm in the top one. What would the other one two? be? Man, you got. Over Wanna Be a Baller. What one song was bigger than that? I would have to say. Mind playing tricks. That would be the closest one. Oh, I don't know, That would know, be the man. closest one. Yeah, want to be a ball or top 40? No, no. Want to be a ball with top 40? I would say still tipping is the closest thing. Uh, don't, I don't still know tipping about it. Still tipping was big, bro. My, my, still tipping was big. Want to be a baller is timeless. And I was having a conversation with him about this a couple of months ago. I was like, man, like, I don't on, the, on the timeless side, yeah. man, you forty yeah. years from that motherfucker want to be a baller, dog. You know what I'm saying? Want to be, like, want to be a baller. Still get, I bet you still, still getting royalty checks on them things. It's still getting burned. I'm living baller life right now. <laughs> still from that shit. <laughs> I tell you, that Damn. shit. I'm, I still told, baller hey, from I that. told you on the phone. It still get a lot of it burn, lot man. Of, yeah. yeah, I'm almost at a hundred million views on on uh, on, on the video. That's, that's a shit ton. Crazy. Yeah. That's a shit that's ton. Cr- a song that you ain't even rap on. Well, hey man, I got a, hey, but you got to look at what I did though. See, I, I, I peeped the game what Quincy Jones did. Yeah, Quincy Jones put our Q's Ju joint, just produced everything on the thing and put itself on the cover and called it Q's Q's Ju joint. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. And, and kind of like how DJ Khaled do now. Khaled got he it on me. Yeah, he, he got it for me. I got, I got. Hey, we're gonna go down the line. I got it from Quincy Khaled. Jones. And then Cali got it for me. Cali yeah. got it. <laughs> yeah. If he get on there and say another Fuck one, it. he on the yeah. song. He on the yeah. song, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But that's where I got it from. I got it from Quincy Jones. He did it first. Yeah. That's hard, man. Yeah. That's man, when you, when, you, when you did the song, I know it was like a year after Fat Pat got killed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, how did, this, how did the song come together as far as the Fat Pat verse? Did youngster freestyle on that much? It's just shit that I want to know. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? As a fan of the culture, because the niggas a fan of the culture before <laughs> I was a podcaster. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm being 100, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. shit. So back in the day, you know, I had another group called Mass 187. Yeah. Right? And I'm from Kansas City. They, they, you know, I had a group, and, and I had Fat Pat come and do a verse on the song with them, right? On their album, Type 6 4 Cadillac, right? So he laid that verse down. And then right after that, he, he got killed. When yeah. he got killed, I'm like, whoa, hold on. Damn, I need to put him on I'm on something. So right. what I did was when we made the song One Bill Baller, and you know, Youngster came in and freestyle. I got some more verses of Youngster freestyle on there that I almost think is better than the ones that we used. No shit. Really? Yeah. So, yeah. How many, so you freestyled a bunch. He, he was just going there like freestyling. Four of them. Yeah. Four of them. You know, I still got two in the vault. Yeah. 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 And uh, Lil Will did his part. Uh, Kiki came, Pussy came through, he didn't show up. You know, he always tell me, he say, Troy, man, I'm going to tell you, man, that's, that's one of the biggest mistakes I think I've ever made in my life. Man, man I think for real, Kiki, say, Troy, man, I hate I ain't show up for the studio and drop my verse on yeah. that song, you know what I'm saying? But, man, them cool about it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. we talked about it because, you know, how big it got. And, he, and I went to him first, check this out. Right. Then I went to Hawk, let Hawk sit here. Hawk came, you know, they all came, dropped their verse down, and they left, you know what I'm saying? Then me and Grim got there and started messing with the, messing with it and, you know, getting it right. Big T had sung his little part, came yeah. to, you know, it blessed it, you know. So then after that, I was like, it ain't complete. 
So we took Fat Pat off a of Mass 187 song, one of one of their songs, and it wasn't the same uh, time though, right? Yeah. So we time compressed his vote, his voice, yeah, to match it, to make it match, make it fit, make it fit, yeah. And then we had to loop it, you know, cause it won the whole 16 that yeah. he had on there. But people don't know that they think that's just how he rapped it, but that's how we created the song. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Ooh wee. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's it's it was creative, and and and, and what you got right now. A classic, man. It is a certified, classic. certified classic, man. It is a classic. I yeah. tell him, my boy, I say, man, when I called Lil Troy, when he picked up the phone, he sounded like he was in the beginning of that motherfucking "Wanna Be a Baller" video. When he had, <laughs> when he asked for you, yeah, what's up? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I say, man, I want to say, man, it's cool ass nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I try to be me all the time, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't, hey. no, ain't no put on. This is just what that is. You know what I'm saying? From from the from from the start of it, I've been the same damn way. You know what I'm saying? From the streets to the music, the same way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what was it like when uh, Luke Nasty hit you for the baller, for the baller request? It was cool, man. I was just honest. Somebody wanted to redo it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, they came to Houston, met up with me and shit. And uh, we talked about it. And I said, man, I'm gonna let y'all do it, man. I'm gonna tell you what I want from y'all doing the song, man. Y'all ain't gotta pay me nothing, man. Give me a dollar. That way I ain't went to the bathroom free was for nothing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Just give me a dollar. Y'all can do the song. I ain't tripping. You know, just make sure we do the paperwork right. That way, if it take off, I get paid down the line. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it wasn't like, man, I need five racks. I need ten racks. Y'all going to redo my song. I, you know, I yeah. could have. But I'm like, hey, I, I'm a fan of yours already. I yeah. ain't never known you, but I like I liked some of your songs you've been putting out. Yeah. So he did the song his way that he, he think the people, uh, his fans going to like. So I said, cool, go ahead. That's hard, man. Yeah, I, I think he did it justice. He did it pretty I like good. It. He did I ain't right. never heard it. Never heard it? Yeah. I ain't never I ain't Check never it out, man. He, he, he did it pretty good. He did it. Where he, did he from? It. I think he's from Atlanta. Well, yeah, Luke, I, Luke, I, Luke Nasty, huh? Carolina. Luke Nasty. He, got a, Carolina he got a few from. hits. Yeah, he got, some, he got some of his now. Yeah. Yeah, he got some hits. Yeah. Luke Nasty. Skip through a little bit. Here you come. Skip, come on. I, feel, I think I did. I don't know, man. I think I did see this shit somewhere. I mean, it's... I hit the eye. I like yeah. it, dog. It's, Come it's on, cool. Man. It's cool. I get it in my sets just because it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's paying the homage. You know and, what I'm saying? And then when you do that, do you go from that to the original Wanna Be A Baller? Turn it down a little bit. Or do you go from original Wanna Be A Baller to this song or Dep what? Depends on the crowd, but I it gets burned. I, I need to give you that mix I got with Jermaine Dupri. <laughs> what? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, I definitely yeah. that. I definitely need that, man. We supposed to have been doing it, and I ain't never put it out of nothing. Yeah. Me and J yeah, JD done jumped on it and stuff. He jumped on Wanna Be Baller? Yeah, Wanna Be Baller. No Sit shit. To me. That's yeah. hard. Yeah. What? I just yeah. ain't never finished it up yet. Man. So oh, what is... So what's life e like now? E forty on it. Come on, why you why you never released? Tretch on it. I they I went I went to uh, 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 Tretch house and stayed with Tretch, for him to do his part when uh before I went to before I went to jail. Yeah. Tretch did his part. I went to him in Pepper House and stayed there. Then I went to E forty and fuck around with E forty for a minute, and E forty did his, and then I went to jail, yeah. and I ain't never put it out. Why Man, not? whoop. <laughs> whoop. sit on it? It's old now, and I just ain't never get back with him and do it. You know what I'm saying? I and it's like, this is my reason. I ain't never really put the remix out yet, because if I can't make it as big as, as the original, I don't want to mess with it. Me, personally, I don't want to do the remix. Say it came from Lil Troy, and they, I can make another uh, field goal, touchdown. You yeah. know what I'm saying? World Series or some championship. Yeah. If I can't make it as big and promote it as big and make it as big as the first one, I'd rather say leave it as that. Yeah, I dig it. Just let, let history be history. History is history right now. I dig it, man. I, I, you, you one of the few people that I can really ask this, right? What is life like after rap? When you say, you know what, I'm, I'm really done. I moved on. Next chapter. <laughs> I'm enjoying life, man. I mean, I'm traveling. I'm living nice. I'm, in, I'm on my own time. I do what I want to do when I want to do it, how I want to do it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I can pull up and be famous when I want to be famous. Don't have to be don't have to be famous <laughs> when I don't want to be famous. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I know the art of how to look famous and be famous when you are famous already. You know what I'm saying? Because I can come pull up in here with 
with lining all these cars up and all my guys pull up in the mother, you be like, God damn, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can still pull out like that yeah. if I want to. When I don't want to, I pull up by myself tonight. My son pulled up in his car. We chilling tonight, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I didn't come out all like bam, bam. I'm, right, right. Yeah. But I still got all the jewelry. I still got all the cars. I still got all the nice house. I still got all the shit. Yeah. Matter of fact, I got more now than I did back then. That's what's but up. But when I was hustling and when I was hype in my music, in the music with Wanna Be a Baller, I got more now than I did then. That's what's up. At, at, at the peak of Wanna Be a Baller, what was, what was that fame like? Couldn't go nowhere. He was went. in jail when Baller, when Baller dropped. Yeah. yeah I, I, went, I went to jail. And when I got out, it was like pfft, everybody waiting to see me. How long after was was the records? Well, I can't say was the record still spinning because that motherfucker still spinning. Yeah, was, now. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At, when, right when Lil Baller was really Wanna first hit, the, I mean, yeah, yeah, coming out first like getting to the charts and America yeah. started knowing about it. I was locked up. He was gone. So when that motherfucker was number one on one on Sister Park. Yeah, I was looking at on, I was looking at on uh, in the feds. Watch, we watching me on on videos in the feds. Yeah. That shit crazy. Yeah, can you imagine seeing yourself in the fa on TV? Number one on one on Sister Park. Yeah, and you in the face sitting there, you and your, all your partners, everybody waiting on the videos to come on because they know they finna see you on the, on the thing. Yeah. Now I can't imagine that shit. Nigga did that I, independent, dog. Yeah. Bank account stuff going up. Yeah. <laughs> chilling. <laughs> can't touch it. Really just chilling. Really look, just low key look, on vacation. Hey, my gal, I had to set up that. When I went to the feds, I couldn't have no bank account in my name because they tried to give me on tax evasion too, right? Uh, right, right? So I couldn't yeah. have no bank account in my name. Now, I went, when I went to jail, I had a little more than a half million dollars in the bank. I couldn't have my name on no account, so I had to leave it in my girl's name, right? And we ain't married, got no kids or nothing. So what I did, I told the bank lady, the, the manager at the bank, I said, look, I'm, I, I need your number. I'm going to put on my call list when I go to jail because I need to check and make sure she ain't spending too much money or nothing. And if she ever spend over $5,000 at one time, shut my account off. I don't give a damn what it is. If you don't hear from me on the phone, tell you she finna buy this, she finna buy this or buy that. If it's more than five racks, shut my account off till you hear from me. But I never had that problem. Every time she can't see me every Sunday, uh, uh, every other Sunday, the whole time I was locked up, and she'll have in her hand, because you can't bring no paper, nothing inside, right? She'll have in her hand, discount got this amount, discount got this, uh, discount got that, I spent this, I paid, I bought the kids this, I bought this. I, I mean, she had everything in her hand. Yeah, when she came in, hard. she could tell me what she done done. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? And after I got out the 11 months, I, I, I bought, a, bought a brand new big ass house, and when told her to go get her, uh, uh, she went and got a, nav a navigator out of showroom flow. I, I made sure I took care and looked after her and did her great because she did me great because she could have either a uh, guy, something could have pushed, pushed up on her yeah. and got up on her and started getting the money yeah, out of her and stuff. You know bread out of her. Yeah. yeah, but she didn't do that. And that motherfucker steady going up. Man, she took care of business. Some, some, some shit you just can't fuck up. Man, I, you know what I'm saying? Some I'm shit, it's, it's, hey, it's behooved of you not to fuck up. I'm more curious to know what that's like to go in, to go in jail. And then when you walk out, your socioeconomic status yeah. is completely like completely yeah. different. Yeah. But see, before I must went, before I must went to jail. It wasn't time to be paid by Universal. Yeah. So I told Universal, look, I'm finna go to jail. Y'all know it, but I need the, I need y'all to pay me ahead of time if I can pay all these guys some money. Cause when it's time to, for them time to get paid, I'm gonna be locked up. So Universal sent me the money down here. If I paid everybody that was on the album, I had a party. And, and with my at my accounting house and um, it gave everybody checks. I'm finna go to jail. He got y'all some checks right now for y'all have some money. Yeah, big that's money. What's up? Mm -hmm. So legend has it that and this this legend had it. ESG wrote the hook. Yep, yep. Shout out to ESG. Hey, if I'd have known he had wrote the hook, I'd have got with him before then. I did not know until years and years later that him and Big T was working on that song, heard, doing it. Hey, that. I heard a whole different rumor that somebody else wrote the hook. So I can't remember the guy's name. Start with a P mm -hmm. something. No, I know I know ESG <laughs> did it. You know what I'm saying? He did it. But yeah. I didn't know to wait at a long time. I thought I'd put the song out because Big T came over there, sung the song for me. And at the end, I was saying, hit the highway, making money to fly. Because that's yeah. what I used to do. I used to, I used to hit the highway, making money to fly. Away. That was me. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So we put it together and put it out. We played the hook by itself for months with no rapping on it. We knew it was a nice song. <laughs> we knew. We, me and Grim, we just knew it. We just played it all the time. 
And then when I found out ESG did it, it, and it was his song, I talked to him about it. I say, bro, I apologize, man, because I ain't know it was your song. Yeah. Big T came, sang it, came over and sang it over there with us on the track we had, and we, we put the motherfucker out. So I paid him some money, and we put it out. So Big T low-key took it. <laughs> Big T took it. Rest his soul. Big yeah, T low-key took that motherfucker. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? But I didn't know. Me and ESG, cool. But I didn't know that was his song at first, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But it was the right timing from when I did it, with the right people on it, and the right promotions behind it, and <clears> who <throat> I was made it pop off. Yeah. Because he could have still did the song maybe, and it might not popped off like that. You feel me? Yeah. It all depends on the timing and, and right. everything. Yeah. Everything really kind of, like when you, lit, I think a part of the elements as far as Houston is concerned to make that motherfucker like a certified classic is the components that kind of went into the to the song with youngster being as hot as he was mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying with fat pat had dying yeah. with big hulk kind of stepping mm -hmm. in and, and hopping on the song it was it was it it was shit you yeah. know what i'm saying like it was it was the perfect time like you said it was a, it was the perfect storm on it the was, cool you know but what I'm saying? got hot after that song Youngster right. wasn't, it was just, just it was wasn't as hot as it was after the song, then he <coughs> did the next song, you know. To me, Youngster, then. Youngster, peak of his his shit was when he did the Mad Hatter joint. Yeah, the Bring It oh, Back. Yeah. I'm with it. I'm with it. That was that was that was that was a classic too, man. Like that's yeah. that's all time. Push your mic forward. Just push it. That's. That's like an all-time, you know. That's like yeah, one of my all-time favorite but, Ace Time but songs just because of Youngster verse. That hook, it but, was it was too catchy. See, the way hook, too catchy. the way the hook is. You don't have to be R. Kelly, uh, 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 R&B singer to sing the hook. Anybody yep. can sing the hook. Yep. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it's like anybody can sing it. it ain't, you ain't got to be a real R&B singer to sing the hook. You know what yeah. They hit all these notes and stuff. Yeah. It's Every, just a, Everybody want to be a baller. Sing that motherfucker right there. Want to be a yeah. baller. <laughs> Shot collar, hey. 20 and blade. Look at that. Hey. Yeah. We did. We went to the Kappa Beach party. In the oh, night. I remember Kappa. You remember oh, Kappa? Oh, my God. You yes. remember Kappa? I was there. But oh, my God. Everybody was playing in oh, every car. Oh, my God. Radio was playing it. But, you know, I he tricked right. everybody. Don't nobody. I'm gonna tell you what I did to the to to, to everybody at the Kappa Beach party. I went and bought a whole FM bunch of. Transmitter. Huh? Oh, I thought you were going to say you transmitted it no, yourself. No, <laughs> I went and bought a whole bunch of radio spots before the, before the capital oh. and played the song, uh, the first minute of the song, and say, brand new little, uh, brand new little Troy and Stowe's now at the end. Tagged it. That's all I said. It came on, want to be a baller. Like, like they playing it. Yeah. Like they playing it. And after a minute, it went off. Yeah. Brand new Little Troy and Stowe's now. And 15 Just minutes a commercial. later. Commercial. Commercial. 15 yeah. minutes later, the song came on again. So it's like the radio station is playing the song all day, oh, all hey. night, yeah, all weekend. Yeah, yeah. There yeah. was a, there was a capital where yeah. Wanna Be a Baller Everybody was, the was playing and they're hearing it. So everybody, after the capital, they went back to their cities and stuff. Man, y'all heard that new, that new Little Troy that Wanna Be a Baller? Then everybody start calling, start calling, start calling, start calling, start calling. Cause that was the time radio was radio was still radio. radio. It was important. Yeah, yeah, yeah that radio wasn't, was radio then. Yeah. Wasn't a lot of internet then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> there wasn't no internet. Boy, if it had been internet and ringtones, oh my lord, oh. like comedian now, comedian. But you still had to do good off the ringtones too, yeah, though. I did all right, but ringtones came out way after that. Right, right. See, when comedian that came out, with comedian that sold so many fucking ringtones, he got rich on ringtones. Yeah, cause it just came out. With they riding dirty? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 But if I can't, if they had ringtones out when I came out, I want to be a baller? Oh, my Lord. Maybe I struck the same goal, want to be a baller did. That yeah. hook was too catchy. Yeah. And Man, I just never was a big. I ain't, they they ain't no comedian. I hate you know. Yeah. They hate it, man. That's mm. same kind, same kind of goal, man. When people yeah. latch on to that hook, so yeah. it's, it's did the same with the it too. numbers don't yeah. lie. You may not rock with it, but the numbers. The proof but is in the pudding. Like you say, though, none of them songs that we done talked about have lasted the test of time like Wanna Be a Ball. Right. Facts. Wanna Be right. a Ball is study playing on a regular basis all the time right now. I mean, I can look at my publishing and see it right now that the check's finna come in. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's still, hey, it still get burned. I still burn it every now and then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then then after after you had, uh, after that you, you released where well, you put out your son. Yeah. And he had a nice uh, time in the game. Yeah, and he's, yeah, he had a nice time. T two still in the game. He's still yeah, in yeah, the yeah. Game. He was the first little young kid that when he came out, you know, what I'm saying out of age time that everybody was like, wow, you know, what I'm saying he was so hot. He, he was so hot, and when I put him out, that 
he was playing. He was in high school at the time. Yeah. So the teachers was coming to his classroom. Teacher, how you gonna do a show tonight? And you got class in the morning. Yeah. So he would go do shows at night, school in the morning, football game. He started in basketball. and started in football. So he got too popular in school. I had to take him out and put him in home school. Oh man. He was too popular. Yeah. He never went back. He he, fin he finished school. He finished school, but it, he was just too popular to be in regular school. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? From playing varsity football in 11th grade, varsity basketball, I mean, varsity basketball in 11th grade. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he was too popular. What was that What was that song? He I say, got that. I got that. And what was that, the song you talking I'm the first young kid. That's the, one, that's the one he did with ESG and Slim Thug. Yeah. Yeah, that was that Pac Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the joint right there. But check this out, though. Is you tell you, Slim will tell you, they went in the studio, right, with GT, because GT finna put on this album. I let GT, I gave GT the song. Yeah. See, the song came from me. I gave GT the song. So GT wanted to put uh, uh, ESG and, and, and Slim Thug on it. He said, I'm going to put T2 on it. So we all go to the studio at the same time and go there together. First time they ever heard the track. They ain't there listening at the track, listening at the track, writing that shit down. T2 walking around, just... Just walking around, just talking to and yourself. How old was he at that time? Sixteen. Yeah. Sixteen or maybe seventeen, maybe <laughs> maybe seventeen. So they, yeah. they they all just you know vibing to the beat. ESG came up with the hook, and Slim then went and did his. ESG went and did his. T two went down. They say, when he write that shit down, he went there and went straight through it. One time take, bam, knocked it out. They yeah. were like. Wait a minute, Tom. <laughs> not just go in that studio and go straight through that song all the way through, and we ain't must see him write nothing down. Cause at the time I had him that I had him programmed that he don't he too young, he can remember what he think about. He can just think about it in his mind and and, and, and say it. Yeah. I say, cause it's gonna be times when we go to a studio, leave the club, got to go to the studio, hit the do getting doing a song for somebody, and got to be on the plane early in the morning. When I have time to be sitting there all day, I right. need I need you in there for one hour, thirty minutes listening to the song, thirty minutes laying it down, we gone. Get all right. So they was tripping that I had him. That's the way he. That's the way he recorded for a long time. He didn't write nothing down. That's what's up. That song was a hit too. Yeah. 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 That was a bad yeah. <laughs> it was. was it, bad it still gets burned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right we, now, you you dropped that beat. I'm the first young kid that out this outside. Yeah, oh, look yeah. yeah. Like Don't look at my yeah. yeah. <laughs> Still get burned. And um, I, I'm gonna tell you, man. I've been keeping it real with every major guest. Your best song, "Wanna Be a Baller," to me was not your best song, man. Uh, bitch in my book. Yes, bitch in oh, my oh book. Oh my god, oh, yeah. that's yeah. still a bitch yeah. in yeah. my yeah, yeah, that's a book. Bitch. Yeah, I know. I fucks with Look, it. I fucks with that the hey, most. Hey man, the long everybody. Way. When I got ready to go I to prison, when that. I got ready to go to prison, right? Universal came to me and say, "Troy, I'm finna go. We are gonna give you the money. Let's shoot a video to, to bitch in my book, right?" And I, so I went to the uh, guys that's on the song with me, right? I say, "Man, look, we wanna. I'm finna shoot bitch in my book, man. And um, if I go to prison, you know, we gonna bitch do it, book. right?" The dude told me, "Troy." I say, man, but I'm not finna put another song out that I'm not rapping on. Yeah. So I'm gonna put an eight on, on Bitch in My Book, all right? And we're gonna shoot a video for it, then I'm gonna go to prison. Dude told me, in order for me to rap on the song, I had to give him 10 racks. I say, what you, wait, 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 I'm trying to understand what you mean. I'm finna put y'all out, you're not signed to me, so you finna be famous. And you tell me I gotta pay you to be on the video? Who? Be who, on the song? Who's singing on? Who is dude, that? Dude named Natty. What's up, Natty? Yeah, I never, I it, never, that's, yeah. bro, I just learned that today, yeah. man. I'm today so, years old. So, I'm like, dude, you mean to tell me I got to pay you to be on the video, be on the song? That I'm finna pay, I'm finna spend almost 100 racks on the video for it, make y'all famous? Make you famous? But you, tell you what, didn't worry. you already own the song? You said, don't worry about don't it. Don't worry about it, we ain't gonna do that. And <laughs> Universal started telling me, Trump, we'll give it to him. You're gonna sell another half a million copies if we put that bitch in my book out. Come on, I said, nope. He won't make another dime off me. If I got, uh, if he gonna do some shit like that, he ain't yeah. gonna make no money on me at the time. You know what I'm saying? No, no, that ain't gonna work. So we never shot the video. But now, right now, since he been home, and had it back home, and he got his mind right. Cause you know, them, that back song, in the day, the that girls, song can still, yeah. hey, that song so, can still go right now. So right now, for the 20th anniversary, T2 done wrote me a live little part for the song and stuff. So, oh, when so it's we dropping. we supposed to do the video now. Me and the guy done got together and oh. to, to do it now. Out of 20 years. Oh, still a bitch in my... I got a nice little boy, T2. I ain't gonna lie, T2 laced me up on the motherfucker. You got me right. He, he right. He got me right. I just ain't recorded it yet. 
Man, it's we got ready to record it, then the pandemic hit. Yeah. That's what happened. We didn't much we didn't get a chance to do it because the pandemic hit. Everything been good with you during the pandemic? No, nah, I Fam- caught it. No shit. I caught really? it. Really? Yeah, I've been I've been gone about three weeks now. Damn. Yeah, that's I, what's up. I mean, I went through all the symptoms like most of the symptoms and um I I fought it at home like just like the flu, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm dealing with it like the flu. I'm sweating four or five T shirts a night some some days. And uh, when when it got serious to me, when I couldn't breathe, yeah. when I couldn't breathe, I, I my 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 wife we went to the emergency room. It was like nine days after I had it, after I started couldn't breathe. Right, I'd be talking, I'd be like, <sighs> couldn't Dang. breathe. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I went to went there, and you know, goddamn hospital. I fucked this shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Man, anyway, do you? I I went to the hospital the emergency room. You go in, tell them what your symptom is, what you need to, what you know, your name and all that. They tell you go sit in the car. We're gonna call you. I sit in the car for three hours. I tell them I can't breathe. You know that's what I'm coming for, right? So go back and sit in the car for three hours. Next thing you know, they call me. Cause they won't let you just you sit in the car. emergency room. You can't yeah. sit in the emergency room. So my wife's sitting in the car. When they call me about three hours, I go in there. They check my vital signs. They say, okay, well we're gonna do an X-ray on your lungs and stuff. I say, okay. They did the X-ray on my lungs. Doctor came in, I swear to God, doctor was in there about a minute, a minute and a half at the most. That was it. He wasn't in there no time. So then the uh, lady came back and said, uh, your x-ray is good. We, 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 uh, we're releasing you to go home. I didn't, they didn't give me no, no treatment. They didn't tell me. They didn't give me no medicine afterwards. They didn't tell me, go home, lay on my chest, lay on my back, uh, breathe like Damn. this. They told me nothing at all to do. Damn. I didn't have to go. If I had known that they're going to be going away anyway, I would have never went there. I thought they were going to give me a, a pump or something. Or, yeah, something to help you, help you breathe a little bit better. When, when I started going through that, give me a pump or something. They didn't do nothing. They ain't going to send me a bill for $2,400. I thought I wish I would pay y'all <laughs> punk yeah. ass nothing. Yeah, but it was, it was rough for you? For for them, how like long three, did, it, did the not being able to breathe last? About two, three, about two, three days, about three days or so. Was it painful? It no, was just it wasn't short painful. As a breath. wasn't painful. Nothing. I just couldn't breathe. So did you find like your own home remedies or some shit? Yeah, to do? Yeah, I done been sick before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I done been had the flu before. Me and my wife, we just docked on me and stuff. And how your soup. wife? How your wife? She didn't. She catch didn't it? catch it. Laying right in the bed with me. That's what's up. One night it was so bad. I, I I went through three t-shirts in, in my master bedroom and sleep and put a uh, sweat it out. I put a towel down, get another shirt, sweat it out, move that towel, got another shirt, sweat it out. Got up, the bed was wet. Baby, let's go get another bed. We ain't got another bed. Wet the bed up, wet the towel up, wet up another t-shirt, got up, and we ain't got another bed. We, I slept in three beds in one night and went through like five or six different shirts and Damn. four towels. Damn, See, that's crazy. That's an interesting part of the story. But this nigga slept in three different beds. <laughs> I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? I'm oh, talking about talk still about motherfucking huh? balling. <laughs> Why you bullshit? Hey, oh, niggas, hey, niggas, I'm, 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 I'm 4,000 I'm square feet around this yes, motherfucker. What's up? <laughs> I'm 4,000 square feet. It's just me, it's just me and her. In yeah. the dog. Man. Nah, man, but you going through some shit like that, you had to know. Why you ain't cl- why they ain't clicking your head off the rip that it was... Man, I might have this this I knew, leg. No, I, I knew I had it. But it wasn't crucial enough to where you felt like you needed to go to the hospital no, until no. you needed to go. I wouldn't have went. If I didn't know they weren't going to do nothing about me, couldn't breathe, I wouldn't have went then because I was making it through it. You know what I'm saying? I done yeah. had the flu before, so that wasn't no big deal. And I'm going to tell you what hurt it. They gave me the uh, flu. Uh, they put the thing up my nose for the flu and for the for the COVID, right? Yeah. That, that hurt it when they put it up in your nose. Well, that motherfucker all the way up there? All up here. They put uh, way in. I'm like, oh, they hit you up too? Uh, I'm I didn't scared, like that. Dog. Oh, you ain't did it yet? I got the antibody test. So I just do my blood. Yeah. And just yeah. tell me that. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I had it. And, and two days later, they came back, let me know I, was, I tested positive for the COVID. I needed to quarantine for 14 days, which I'd already been quarantined already. Yeah. So I had like five, six more days ago, and it was over with. I mean, once I, I went through, I couldn't taste, I couldn't smell no food, and I was eating food that I know I like. I'm eating anyway. It Can't taste like- it because I know. I like this. Yeah. So I'm finna eat this. I'm not gonna not eat. I'm yeah. finna eat this. So I made myself eat. Just eating the substance. Can't eating taste it. it. Can't smell can't it. Can't taste it. Can't smell it. Just eating it anyway. Eating it just because you got to eat. I, I know I need to eat. 
Right. Cause you don't eat, it's gonna make you even sicker. Yeah. So I ate food that I knew I like. What Popeyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Oxtails. That's, <crazy. laughs> that's, that's sick to be a that's sick to be a motherfucker though, man. Cause yeah, you man, really be. Man. But I'm blessed, truly blessed that I came through it, and uh, everybody that's going through it, I know what y'all going through. Hang in there and, and just try to try to make it through it like I did, man. You know. I'm glad you made it through it, man. Look, Father's big. Day, I'm laid up. They no couldn't come over for Father's Day. None of my kids, nobody came over for Father's Day. Damn. I won't let nobody come over. Uh-uh, yeah. I'm sick. That's crazy. That's some tough shit, man. Man, that's, that's some tough crazy. shit. We glad you made it out of for it, though. For sure. You know yeah. what I'm saying? For real, because that shit, is, that shit is, is real. It's real. It's really, really happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you go yeah, for Kanye really. West and, and your 45, <laughs> y'all don't think it's real. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. In the beginning, I I was thinking, I was, you know what I'm saying. I had my my questions. I think yeah. everybody had their skepticism about the whole thing to begin with. You know what I'm saying. But then after the fact, and you then one of my homeboys, his, his people up in in New York, his dad up there. And then he said his dad was up there on a ventilator. This was like early on, and I was like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like shit. Yeah. And my boy, he ain't, his dad ain't got no reason to lie. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got no reason to kind of trick nobody, no shit like that. So when I see he tell you his dad was up there on the ventilator. I was like, damn. This shit real. And it was early on in the in the whole little, you know what I'm saying, little issue shit. So I was like, damn, it's it's real. This the first time that I done said anything on social media, anything about it, I had it. I didn't even know. Didn't nobody I ain't put it on my I, I got pictures of me in the in the in the, in the emergency room, pictures of me at home sick. I never put nothing out, never talked about it, anything. This the first time that man, I said glad something you made it anybody out. about me getting sick. I, I am glad you I'm made glad it. You, out, I'm man, glad you made it that, man. That's, yeah. You you are a, a figure in this shit. You know what I'm saying? A figure in the city. I don't care what nobody say. You know what I'm saying? You know you got everybody got their haters. Oh, you yeah. got your haters. Everybody you got, got their to. haters. You what know what I'm saying? You got to have four or five haters. Hey, do yeah. you, and if you don't, do you consider yourself a one hit wonder? Yeah. <laughs> he say yeah. <laughs> he say shit. I better, yeah. I better be known as a one hit wonder than not a, not a hit at all. Like a I feel like you know what I'm saying. Even though I made some other songs that's pretty good and stuff, you know, just ain't it just ain't 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 meet what that what that did. You know what I'm saying? Like on my second album. When I came back from you signing with Universal and I got out of prison, they they told me, uh, try, uh, um, I try to get them to start putting out, you know, little literature about me while I was locked up. Yeah. Literature, big ball of shot called walk to walk, talk to talk, fresh off lock. You know what I'm saying? Let's get that started. Yeah. Yeah. I've been in prison. Let's get it started. Universal wanted to wait till I come home. So when I come home, they say, well, we need to hear the music you're doing. Nope. Y'all didn't hear my music when I first put my album out. Y'all picked it up because I'm the A&R. Hot, they man. say, we need, we need to get to the A&R people, let them hear. I say, I'm the A&R. I don't need your people to tell me what songs they like. Yeah, I know what my people like. Yeah, especially I'm doing this here. here. Yeah. So, they, so they say, well, we can't give you a release date until you do until we see the song. I sent them an album cover with the release date on it and everything. This is my album. This is what I'm finna put out. Yeah. Well, we need to hear the music. I said, nope. Because if I send y'all any music, it, be, it belongs to y'all in y'all library. So I ain't mm. sending y'all shit till y'all give me a release date. Well, we can't give you a release date. Well, release me. And that's it's, what happened. So they they like, well, we'll release you, Troy. We don't want to see you go. Release me. So they released me. Two days later, I called them back. Hey, where that check at? They say, what check? That pay or play check. That 150 y'all supposed to send me if y'all don't put my album out. Send that mm. check. Ooh. They looked, they, they got on the phone, called me back about an hour later. Oh, oh, Troy, we saw we'll, we'll have your check. We we'll go overnight tonight. They really? had to send me a oh, they had to send me a check for one fifty because I put it in the contract, pay or play. If y'all decide that y'all don't want to put this album, out, y'all y'all gotta still pay my, my 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 royalties and all this shit on on, on the album. You know on what I'm saying? The, on the wanna be a ball on, on, the, the, on, the, on the whole album. On the album, the whole album. They so still that's got, what I'm talking about. That album, yeah. that, that had that. They still got to pay me for it. one fifty on the next album no, that didn't get I, released. Yeah, they one fifty up front. They got to send me that. If you don't put my next album out, you send me one fifty. Pay or play. Oh yeah, that's yeah. So you you released back to ball and independent. Back to ball and I, I I turned around and went to Koch Records in New York. Okay. Right? And so I went and got me a better deal. I got me a sixty forty deal. So I'm getting six percent. They getting forty now. So I'm finna really clean up now. I ain't even gotta go. I ain't even gotta go platinum to make some money. Just to make yeah. some bread. Yeah, yeah, I'm finna get paid. Paid now. Nah. You, you sell three four hundred thousand copies. You got, you get, what? Yeah. I already got. The, I already got. The, I already had houses. Two Mercedes Benzes, two rap vans, a navigator. I had all the jewelry I want, big old house, everything. So now I got this deal with Koch. I, up. They gave me two seventy five up front. You know what I'm saying? Just to come do the distribution deal with them. That's on top of that one fifty that Watch Koch just had sent you. Yeah. The, the, the yeah. next night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, so I'm I'm straight. I ain't worried about no money. Yeah. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm still getting paid from Universal. But then when I go to Koch Records, 
And the morning that my album get ready to come out, I'm doing. I gotta do radio. Mr. Dave called me. Hey man, you ready to do radio? Yeah man. He said, I got a lot of places lined up for you to start doing your radio. So we sitting there talking on the phone. And next thing he say, Oh shit, this fool! Look at this fool! This fool ran into the uh, one of the towels, man. This brother must have been fucked up, crazy or uh, something. He talking about somebody ran into the yeah, towels. Yeah. I'm on the phone with him. So, you know, we still talking. He not thinking nothing about it. By that time I turned TV on, they got it on the news now. Yeah. Showing the way he hit the first tower. Next thing you know, I see the second plane hit the tower. He on the phone with me. He stationed in Manhattan. Troy, I gotta go. I gotta go, man. There's another plane. Another plane. Bye. He hang up the phone. I don't talk to him for like five, six months. I don't know if he got killed or nothing that for him. It'll yeah. do from Koch. Koch. That Mr. Day, he's in Manhattan. And that's what happened. That was I was signing story. them. Yeah. But it just tripped me out that I seen the plane hit with my own eyes. Why are you Not, on the phone? Why I'm on the phone. Damn. And I'm crazy. getting my album coming out the same day. Right now, my album coming out. So that just that that fucked everything. Everything. Ah, uh, yeah. That, man, it messed me all the way up. Yeah. So you was on the phone when that motherfucker hit. The with second somebody, plane hit. With somebody in Set Manhattan. up. He do radio, so he had to set up for me to do all these, you know, call-ins, all these stations, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So we was getting ready to do that. That killed everything, man. Yeah, man. man. Yeah, that's wild Fuck shit. my money all the way up. <laughs> yeah, it didn't get no more. I ain't get no more money from that or Universal for about five years. Four, Damn. five years. I ain't get no money from them no more because we yeah. didn't know put the album out. Universal record, every, everybody music went down. Every, you know, they weren't playing number talking on the radio every day for years, damn near, over a year or two. Yeah. They weren't playing no new music. They were not adding no new music. And everything went down for years, man, for me. It it went down so bad that I, it's like I fell off a cliff and just started going back and couldn't stop. Just going back, can't stop. Just hitting until I hit the dirt. When I hit the ground, I went underneath the dirt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Here it is. I got all these cars. This big old ass house. I can't make no money. I'm not going back to hustling. Wasn't was no shows going on at the time. No money coming in. I'm like, wow, get the fuck out of here. Got to adapt so, to something. So I say, well, I'm going to just go back to one of my old houses. I got a couple of houses still that, you know, it ain't this, but hey, y'all, y'all pack up. We yeah. finna move back to one of the other houses. Yeah. I went and took the Mercedes Benz, parked it on the lot. Uh, they say, hey, you can't just park it on a lot like this. I said, I'm Watch finna turn it. it in. I don't want it no more. I'm not paying y'all. <laughs> I don't want the no, it. The <laughs> notice, y'all can have it. I don't want it. The note is <laughs> y'all, paid. Ain't the note pay right now. The next month, I'm not paying it. So y'all, y'all, whatever y'all gonna do, here y'all go. <laughs> yeah. I took the wrap off the van, went parked it out on at the deal at the lot. I don't want this one no more. Hey, there y'all go. They I'm thought I was playing. Put my house up for sale. Yeah. Made it look like that you never knew whether a black person or a white person lived in the house. When yeah, somebody can't look at it, because you're not going to want to pay five fifty for a house, and you know a black person lives there. White people ain't going to want to go buy a house behind a black no, person. No, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, black no, 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 no black folks paying no $550 for no house, too. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I sold a house, but I had to pay it until somebody get it. Man, I was going in foreclosure. i come up and pay, them, pay it right back, pay, catch it up, till somebody bought, bought the motherfucker. That's crazy. I went, I mean, when I tell you, I fell off, fell off. It was yeah. nothing I could do because that was my only stream of income. They, they, that's why they say I always have more than one stream of income come in. Man. I thought I'd set myself up. Money from Universal. Now I got money coming from Koch. And there was a full Southwest wholesale that went out of business. I was getting money from them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So all my stream of income just fell, just folded at one time. Uh, Southwest wholesale. Yeah, they, 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 they went under. when they went out. Yeah. They went out. You know what I'm saying? So I was getting checks from them. I was going to get a check from Koch. I was getting checks from Universal. Everything just stopped. Fucking 9-11, boy. Boy, it fucked me up. And then now with this COVID, this I'm like, hey, this, this, this real similar. I'm like, this happened all over again. I know I ain't finna lose all this shit now. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Streaming. Hey, but, streaming numbers went way hey, down during the lockdown. Boy. Niggas ain't just listening to me. Ain't nothing to celebrate. Man. Ain't nothing to, but luckily that this song... It's still a classic, and they still owe me a bunch of money. It's in the kitty, so they still have to pay me. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be good through this one. <laughs> so, so the five years when they wasn't sending you a check, yo, yo, scans was still counting. Yeah, they just they, wasn't. No, it wasn't. wasn't buy, nobody wasn't buying no music at the end. Oh, I dig it. No, I dig nobody wasn't buying no music. They would send me a thirty-five hundred dollar check, five thousand dollar check, seventy-five hundred dollar check. Instead, you can really. You know, I was used to getting a hundred, hundred thousand dollar check, two hundred thousand yeah. dollar check like that. Now all of a sudden, I'm getting six thousand dollar check. In a couple yeah, months. Yeah, what yeah, yeah, yeah. What, am I, what am I doing with this? Can't yeah. do a lot with that shit. Yeah. I dig it. I dig it, man. Shit. So, oh, <laughs> oh I, okay. Well, then, I wanted to know, having a son that rap. Yeah. 
and he had some success. T2. You know what I'm saying? How, how do you know when to give him some advice and when to let him bump his own head? As an artist. That's my son. I ain't going to try to never let him just run and bump his head if I can help him. Now, if he come and talk to me about anything and I know the answer, I'm going to give him my answer. I'm going to give him my, my, my opinion on whatever it is. Yeah. I'm not going to not. He come and talk to me about something and I'm going to tell him. No, I'm going to tell him what I think. You how know do, what I'm saying? How do you coach him in this new digital world? Because the way you sold music. It's different. And the way he got to sell music. I'm, I'm, not in, I'm not that deep in the digital stuff like, like that. Yeah. He's into it and he got to surround himself with people that know more than him. That way, they be able to bring him in and, 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 and sell music digitally. I dig it. You see it. what I'm saying? Yeah. It's out there. But it it's not It's not my generation, not my era. You know what I'm saying? My era was selling. Every day, I would take CDs out of my car with my, with my ride around every day. I'm going to sell four, five hundred dollars worth of CDs every day. You know what I'm saying? Smoking yeah. some weed, give me something to drink, hang on the corner, car wise, go go to the detail shop, go to the record store, five, six of them a day. I'm going to sell four, five hundred dollars worth of CDs every day. Yeah. You can't do that no more. No, that was my hustle. Niggas yeah. ain't even got CD players no more. Man, I sold wax <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> yeah. Cassette so tapes. I sold, I sold Scarface. And I first, you know, I, I'm the first one when, when I first put out Scarface back in the day, right? That Mr. Mr. Scarface. I put that out back yeah. in the day. So I had on a cassette tape. We're selling cassette tapes yeah. for five dollars. They had one song on each side. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. That had to be that had to be like 88, 89, yeah, 88. somewhere around there. 88. What, what was all little riff between like you and Scarface, and then you and Pimp C? Everybody was just mad at you. Man, I was like, you know, don't what? rest Pimp C soul. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, Pimp C. What up, Face? Man, I just talked to Face Day for yesterday. He called and asked me because he heard is he I doing got better? sick. He doing better now. We yeah. just talked the other day. We done got past all that now. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. it was it, it hit me by by storm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like Pimp C. You talk to shit, you know I beat your ass. Or I P Pimp C, but you know I beat his ass. I'm like Pimp C, y'all, y'all don't fuck with me. Y'all don't, y'all ain't on my level. Be talking no shit to me. Come, come on, come on, where I'm at then. You, you talk like all that goddamn shit. Come on. <laughs> you gonna see the little chore that you know how, who I am. Yeah. Don't play with me. So when Face did, I'm like, damn Face, you little me. Why would you want to tell on another brother anyway? Behind some talk, and yeah. you ain't got, you know, then y'all just talking shit. Just, but the way that I figured out. This old man told me, say, Troy, man, what they're doing is assassinate your character. That's the only way they can bring you down because you didn't go through nobody. You did you use your own man. You built your own stuff your own your own way. You did everything your own way. You used your, all your own money. So in order for them to do something to you, they got to assassinate your character. And once they assassinate your character, they can bring you down. Hey, I never even... I never even thought about that. Little you Troy think, you think a face would have stayed with you, you would have had him just as big? I'd have had him bigger. Think so? I, I'd have had him rapping with other people and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, he'd have been doing a lot of stuff. He he he'd have been bigger. His face should be way bigger than he is. Have a lot of things Agreed. going on. Agreed. You know what I'm saying? And that's my boy. I'm not talking down on him. I'm talking what reality is. You know right. what I'm saying? I With my mindset, you know what I'm saying? If I could rap like T2 or Face or something, I would be bigger than like Jay Z them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because all the things that I w- I have done and things I was doing, you know, I had a clothesline. You know what I'm saying? You more like an executive. You, you, I'm a business man yeah. inside my mind right there. I just right. don't rap like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so when Faith started talking about me, I'm like, wow, man, this is crazy. But then when I holler at Jay, Jay say, man, it ain't no more wax, man. We just doing this on wax, man. It ain't about nothing, man. We, you know what I'm saying? We just trying to sell records. Yeah. I'm like, that's all it is about selling records. But then you get the people in the neighborhood start believing what they say, like they, they're a prayer book or something, you know what I'm saying? And then they want to start talking bad about me. I'm like, okay, y'all can talk bad about me, but come bring it to me. Yeah. Don't, don't talk about me on social media and hide behind that. If you got a problem with me, I'm I'm always out somewhere. Every, down to every car, I got a flamboyant. Hmm. It's out there. So I'm not hiding. <laughs> If you one got a problem, bring it to me. Let's let's get it on the pop. I dig it. And I that that it. never happened. You see what I'm saying? For for them to be for them to be the biggest out, you know what I'm saying? And what they say, it goes. But we never right. we never had we never had a fight or nothing. We never got into it. We ain't never been at the club bumping heads or nothing like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Cause it was about being on wax. So it was us blowing it up, making it worse Everybody than what it was. Everybody else was blowing it up. Just y'all y'all making, hear that out there? Cause, <laughs> yeah, Cause like I say, before was, we was podcasters we was fans yeah you know what i'm saying it's like shit like i i, I was sitting there, i was other night I was, I was on my own time and i was just chilling man i was like man it's really kind of dope for a nigga to be able to sit down with niggas that i 
looked up to, you know yeah. what I'm saying, at a different point of time in my life, you know what I'm saying, just looking at these cats and really being able to sit down and have a conversation. When I was listening to music and I had a question, but I'm just a fan at that point. Yeah. I can't even sit down. So it's like the, the podcast, the Throw It In The Game podcast is special, man, for that particular reason. But because before we was podcasters, yeah. we was fans. You know, Face used to live with me and my mama. Yeah. Did y'all know that? Didn't no, know that. Didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, the album cover, uh, that, that, you see, y'all seen the album cover that we done? The top hat? No, Which the album cover with me and Scarface. Y'all ain't never seen our album cover? With all of us sitting on the car, me, 3 2, Def Jam Blaster, all of them used to be signed to me back in the day. There's it right there. There's it right there. Hey, I promise. Right there. Right, this one. Yeah, right there. They were all I signed to me. On the drive over here, three, I was two, sitting two. there thinking three, about it. 3 2. I was thinking about three Beto, two, Beto, man. Beto, yeah, Beto, all of them signed to me. They used to all be with me and my record company, you know, back in the day. Yeah, I was just they thinking they about that. They was eight out with me. Their face sitting in the front with the white shirt on. That's me next to him. Three two over to the left over here. Yeah, Def Jam right Blaster there. behind him. Def Jam Blaster behind him, and Beto all the way in the back on the on the right hand side. And this on the south side. Yeah, that's in the dead end. It's in the dead end. Yeah, yeah. I you see what I'm saying? So he stayed with me and my mama. You know what I'm saying? It was like I never seen this album cover. Yeah, I used to sell that album cover right there. That's a classic. Look at that. That's a classic right there. Goddamn me. Sitting on my Cadillac back then. Goddamn me. It is elbows on and them, it Look with, on them things. It don't elbows and vote now. Yeah. It, it wasn't no good Ralph next back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Regular elbows, 83, you know, 84. I, I seen a nigga three, four days ago. It was kind of ridiculous to me, but if that's what nigga wanted, nigga, I said, his head, nigga had to at least have two and a half feet. <laughs> oh, they do them old super nigga, monster pokers. Nigga, I'm talking about two and a half feet. Yeah, I, 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 I say, they, they, they was I say, giraffe God. necks. Damn, this is yeah. long in the motherfucker, yeah. dog. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? That's where it started. At. Then after he did that song with me, then Lil J was. Wait, what year was that? That was 88. Then I put out 88, 89, right then the Jay wanted him to be the new ghetto boy. So Jay came over and talked to me about him being a new ghetto boy. And uh, I said, Jay, shit, you can have it, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm making so much money in the streets. I don't give a damn about no rapper right now. You know what I'm saying? So Jay took me and, and they did it. Jay said, Troy, when I make it, I look out for you. Do whatever you need me to do. I look out for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put all my money is into this new ghetto boy's album. Hmm, man. Back then, yeah. <laughs> so it ain't, it ain't never been no... The yeah. streets made it more than what it really, really was. You know what I'm saying? Between all of us back then. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So but, with Pimp, but, but with Pimp, you never really knew why he was... I don't know why he even started... I know Pimp when them... I, see, look. I know Pimp them from Port Arthur. I used to hustle in Port Arthur. Yeah. I know them, been knowing them, him... I've been knowing them since they were young. I know them. Pimp used to call himself... Uh, he had a whole different name yeah. before Pimp C. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ah, let me think of it, man. I'm I think of it in a minute. Uh, yeah. But yeah, Damn. he had a whole different name back then. I know, I know him when they first got started on him. Yeah, he used to rap totally different. They had a. I would, yeah, I think I heard some shit. Yeah. I think I heard some shit. They was remixing so, you know, uh, LL I, I Cool J songs. Yeah. And shit. From the early 80s, and then now it, it's 2000, it's 20. Are you real, real life, real life, real life had, real life a uh, pioneer for this shit? Really on the cool, you know what I'm saying? I think. I'm gonna tell y'all straight up, man. Y'all put some respect on Little Troy's name. Do you think? Do for you the think, shit that he done, done in this in this game, man. Do you think you get the the praise, the props, respects nah, that you? No, nah, nah, I don't. But you know, when I go home and look at the plaques on my wall, I did it. I see. I know what I done. That's at the end of the day, man. And then I got so much footage for my grandson's T Troy Troy the third. T two son, when he get up in up in age, he'll he be gonna, able, he'll to, be able see. to see all I done done. And say that was my that was my G pop. I'm finna do something with my G pop. I'm finna make a move. I'm finna make a documentary. I'm gonna do this here for my G pop. You know, really, I done had yeah, people yeah. come to me, want me to do a documentary on my life and all That's this real, and stuff. Bro. But I want I want to do it while I'm still living. But I really want my my grandkids to do it. To say, I feel that. That's my gra- that was my G-Pop right there. You know That's what I'm saying? That's real. I feel that. That's, That's real. What's up. Yeah, because fuck what a hater got to say, yeah. man. They ain't going to take that away. That Straight up. That's that real. I put that one of the biggest songs out in H-Town history. That's you know real. what I'm saying? They ain't going to be able to take that from, from me. I mean, they can't take the fact that you wasn't screwed up, click. You wasn't switch a house. Yeah, you wasn't. Itself. He wasn't with no. He stood that's alone. That's real, bro. He stood that's alone. Real. That's, that's there was real. That's no, real, Everybody else had a backing or a team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was just or a wave or something. Yeah. 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 I'm 5'4". Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did that. I can't. Man, I, I, can't think, that's a, I think that's a good, good note to end it on, man. 
You know man, what I'm saying? I want to say thank you for coming through, man. It's an honor for real. Oh man, I appreciate y'all having me, man. That's what's up. And uh, we do have our masks on. Let y'all know. <laughs> we got our masks right Yes, there. we all masked up. We had to take yeah. it out for the pod, though. Yeah. <laughs> man, it's going down, man. I am Hype South. I'm DJ Nightcap. Oh, G, Lil Troy. And this, this is Throwed in the Game. game. Mm-hmm. <laughs>